It's like noon already. I gotta go. So it's like noon already. I slept in because yesterday I slept eight hours in the middle of the day, so last night I couldn't fall asleep. Basically, my sleep schedule is very off right now. I realized I couldn't sleep past noon because I only have like four days because I only have like four days in Madrid. So I have to like get to doing stuff. Bruce said the best thing for me to do would be to go on one of these like tourist busts with it's like a double decker thing. So I'm gonna be with a bunch of other tourists. She told me to hit all the tourist spots in one day so that she could take me to all the real spots. So I'm walking through Retrero Park. According to Brew, it's like the central park of Spain. That's how she pronounced it. It's like the main place where everything's going on. Um, but across the park is the station for the tourist bus. is way cooler than I thought it was. everything for going abroad but the one thing that I forgot to pack was my sunglasses so I just bought a pair from that guy I see my bus over there and I feel like I'm gonna miss it I just missed it I just just missed it I feel like if I hadn't sat there like an idiot staring at boats for like an hour I would have made the bus I guess I'll wait for the next one for the entire day and it takes you around, so this is pretty cool. Okay, so there's practically no one else on this bus. Well, there's people in the front, but I'm gonna be on it because it's sunny. I've never traveled alone before. Like, I've never been by myself while I'm traveling to, like, other places. The bad side is, of course, that it's nice to be with other people while you're traveling, but the good side is, like, I can stop at whatever I want, I can do whatever I want, I can just kind of, like, take it all in myself exactly the way that I want to. I'm meeting up with Brew again later. She's out for the day, but we're going to meet up in the evening. But for pretty much the entire day, I'm going to be following this bus along the route. My tripod is mounted on the side of the bus and it keeps almost falling off. I got off the bus because I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and I want to try some of the local cuisine. From what people tell me, the food in Spain is really good. Let the record show that wasn't going to be a joke. I was actually going to eat at that Burger King. The line was just way too long, so I stopped and got local cuisine. Getting off the bus, if nothing else, because I was getting kind of tired of sitting, I was like, okay, I'll get off from the bus at the next stop. Little did I know, it's the stop that I started at. So now I have to figure out where to go from here. I think the best way so far to describe Spain would be statues and really cool fountains. All I know is every single like main intersection in Spain has really cool fountains and really cool statues. Instead of going to Bruce's house, she told me to meet her at Plaza del Sol. 
and it's a bit far away. I was hoping to take a bike, but I can't figure out the bike share thing here because it requires like a bunch of information that I don't have. For now, I think I'm just gonna have to walk back. Okay, I made it to Puerta del Sol. Now I need to find something to eat. I think Brew wants me to eat with her, but she's not gonna be here for like a half hour and I'm starving, so. So Brew was complaining about her friend not being there for 15 minutes, but I've been waiting for her for over an hour at the burger place. I'm not waiting anymore because I am too hyperactive to sit for more than an hour. Plus the sun looks all pretty because the sun is setting, so. I'm out and about. Hopefully we'll run into each other here. One of the things that I wanted to see when I came to Madrid was the bear and tree statue, because that's like the thing everybody sees. And I was just walking around. I had no idea it was here. I finally found Brew after like an hour. showing me all around the Times Square of Spain. Or it's like the center of Spain. I'm calling it the Times Square of Spain because it looks a lot like Times Square. That's... Oh, really? Okay, wait, so what is this? Ham. Let's go. Okay, I would give Spanish meat bread uh, nine stars out of ten because it was simple, elegant, and cheap. city seems to work in like timed waves. So like Madrid in the morning is different from Madrid in the middle of the day, which is different from Madrid at night. And like the whole city seems to like operate together and like act differently during different times. It's like the city works as one and I like that a lot. Glow is taking a long time. She's buying a painting. Hi. <laughs> That's it. Bye.